I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit. Never mind, I'm not going to do that because I can't. Because I'm on my phone. It's fine. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm just gonna be doing a get ready with me and I'm gonna be using mostly ColourPop products uh, because I've gotten a lot of new things recently. Yeah, I've gotten a lot of new things from them recently so I'm gonna try and send that out and just getting ready because I actually have to go somewhere after this. So let's get started. So I am actually gonna be using a headband today because I'm trying not to get stuff in my hair before I have to go somewhere. So excuse the fact that I'm gonna look like a wet rat for a minute. You know, so it's okay. Um, but I don't have a primer from ColourPop. I have, I feel like I've tried one from them in the past, but not recently. So I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Hangover RX primer, and I'm also gonna be using the Elf Coralist Putty primer. Um, both of these I've really been loving. This is like a cult favorite of mine. This I've actually recently started using, and I really enjoy it, so. We're ditching headband. Couldn't do it. It's bothering me. Let's get y'all closer. Um, playing around with this area. I have some fall decor. Uh, I love fall, so you know. Um, so yeah, this primer I use mainly in like the area where my pores are larger, which is right like right here in this area. So. I'll just smooth that out up to underneath my eyes. I'm not using too much of this just because you don't want to like clog your pores and stuff. So there's that. Okay, so first new thing, uh, this is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer. Um, I usually don't go for tinted moisturizers, but I am kind of a fan of like lighter coverage. Like I don't always love like the super full coverage look. Um, for like everyday wear. So I feel like this may be really good for me. I've heard really positive things. So uh, we're gonna try it out and see, see what we think. Um, I've heard it's really glowy, which I appreciate. Um, and it's kind of like a squeezy tube, but it has a pump on the end. And I've seen a lot of people apply it with their fingers. So I'm probably gonna try that today and see how that goes. Uh, I may have to switch over to a sponge if it just isn't working out. Uh, but I've heard that this is kind of the easiest way to do it. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try that really quick. I'm just gonna squeeze it out on my hand. Hopefully this is the right shape. It looks a little dark, so we'll find out together. Okay, this is fine. like so odd applying this with my fingers because I never do this. Oh, it feels really good. A little bit doesn't go a very long way. I'm gonna try to use a sponge. I'm just like going over those areas. I'm gonna put that on. Okay, that looks better. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more coverage. I'm just dotting it on my face and I'm gonna go in with the sponge and blend it out. Color's actually really good for me too. I'm in the shade Light 5N. So if you're close to my skin tone, you wanna to try it out? This is a good color. All right, so there's one side of my face completely done. Let me turn the lights down a little bit so you can see. Actually, that made it worse. You still can't tell. It has some coverage, but not very much. Uh, it did kind of fix a little bit of the redness that I had, so I mean, that's nice. But if you're looking for something that's like gonna erase everything, this is not it. This is just like a everyday like wash of color for work or school. Um, if that's what you're looking for, then this is gonna be good. I think it's just you need to know what you're getting, you know? Like th that's kind of what it's made for. It's not made to be like super high coverage and flawless, you know? I do think this sponge is better. I 
you can see, it's not covering like some of the spots that I have right now. Um, so I'm just gonna make sure I go in with a good concealer um, because I typically that's what I like. Like I'd rather have like a lower coverage foundation and then build it up like the coverage with concealer because um, this feels like I'm literally wearing nothing, which I enjoy. Okay, that is it on with like one layer and then, you know, built up a little bit around my issue areas. But it looks pretty good. I mean, I like how like glowy it is and everything. Uh, again, I need to cover up some of the spots that I have, but otherwise I think it's really good. I do have dry skin, so I mean, it doesn't look like it's clinging to any dry patches or anything like that. So, okay, so I am gonna be using the e.l.f. Uh, 16 hour camo concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers. Uh, I use the e.l.f. concealers, the e.l.f. no filter concealer. Um, I'm just out of it right now, but I do really enjoy that concealer. It has really good coverage and it looks really good on the skin. So highly recommend that one. This is just what I have on hand. I don't use a whole lot of this um, just because it is really high coverage. Um, but I feel like it can look cakey on the skin if you just like build it on, you know. That was really funny, my alarm just went off. <laughs> so it stopped the recording. <laughs> Uh, if, yeah, if I seem a little different, it's because I just woke up and I'm exhausted, so. <laughs> I never filmed this early, but I kind of like it. It's kind of nice. It's a good start to the day, you know? Okay, now we're going to go in with setting powder. This is the ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder in the shade Translucent. Um, I love this setting powder. I've used it for a while. Um, really smooths out the skin. It just got everywhere. Oops. Yeah, it really smooths out the skin, um, so I really enjoy it. I'm just gonna take it on my sponge, which is damp, by the way. I'm gonna press it underneath the eyes to set that area. Okay, so my face is still really tacky. So I'm gonna get a pressed powder and set the rest of my face with that. Cause this, I do think that this um, loose powder would look good, but I do think that I prefer setting the rest of the face with a pressed powder. So I'm gonna grab that really quick. ColourPop does have a pressed powder. I just don't have that and I've never tried it. And if any of y'all ever tried it, let me know. Um, also let me know your favorite ColourPop products. Um, Cause I always love trying new things from them. They're always coming out with new things and they're really affordable. Um, I think they're definitely worth spending your money on and trying to see if there's anything that you like. Everything's pretty inexpensive. Um, I'm just... <laughs> Look at this powder. <laughs> this is the Makeup Revolution um, Bacon Blot Translucent Powder. Um, obviously, as you can see, it's well-loved. Um, so I really enjoy this, so we're gonna just go with that. All right, so we are all set. <laughs> um, yeah, that was terrible. Okay, it actually, it still looks good after being set. Everything still looks smooth. Um, let me give you a closer look. After the concealer and everything, the coverage is okay. Like, it's what I normally like. Like, you can still see freckles and stuff, but that's okay with me. Now I'm gonna take my EcoTools powder brush, and this uh, is a bronzer. I believe this is Private Parties, this shade. Um, I really like it. I've used this for a while and it's pretty good. Um, it's a little more matte than I usually go for. I, I kind of like a look, not a shimmery bronzer, but like a glowy bronzer. Um, Cause I feel like it does like really warm up the face. Um, but this shade's good for me. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. Hopefully everything blends on top of this uh, moisturizer well or this to be moisturizer. I am gonna try to check in with you guys later today um, and see how the foundation wore. Cause I'm gonna have it on for almost 12 hours. So I feel like it'll be interesting to see how it wears. Um, I would say our check-in time is gonna be 10 a.m. cause that's, it's 10.30 right now. But I believe the foundation, well, 10, 
10.30, whichever. Uh, but anyways, either way, I'll check in with you guys later. All right, so we are all bronzed and ready to go, and I'm super excited about our blush that we have today. Just look how cute it is. It's part of their new Disney collection. Um, I did not get a whole lot. I just got the Belle set, since she's my favorite Disney princess. If you guys know me in real life, you know how obsessed I am with Beauty and the Beast. It's my favorite Disney movie. Um, it came with a new Lux liquid lip formula from them. I have not tried this. This will be my first impression. Um, and also this is a blush in the shade Enchanted Mirror. It's a, so it came as like a bundle. It was like $12, which isn't bad for a blush and um, a lipstick. So, oh my gosh, this needs to be my mirror. Well, this is really small, but I was gonna say this needs to be my mirror for like everything now. I'm in this phase lately where I'm obsessed with blush. I love blush. And this shade looks really pretty. See, it's pretty like neutral, but still really pretty. It's not really showing up on my skin tone. <laughs> I mean, it is a little bit. Okay, so that's just a really subtle blush, which is fine. Um, honestly, I've loved the packaging so much that it doesn't even matter what the blush is like, really. All right, so next I'm gonna highlight. Um, this is the ColourPop highlight in the shade Fear Kitty Kitty, the mirror broke out of it. This is a really pretty highlight shade if you're like light skin, fair skin. Uh, I'm gonna be using my Morphe G23 Fan Brush. Uh, I love this highlight, I've used it a lot. I've recently got back into using it. I used to use it all the time. You hear stuff happening? I don't know what my neighbors are doing, so that's a thing. Now this highlight is not super blinding. It's more of like a sheen, as you can see. Um, but that's really what I like. Um, not super intense, but also you can still see it, you know? It's like simple and easy for everyday wear, you know? All right, so one of my favorite things that ColourPop makes is eyeshadows. I have a ton of palettes by them. Um, but today I'm gonna be using the Disney Designer Collection. This is the first collab that they did with Disney. Um, and it's just super neutral, pretty colors. Um, so we're gonna go for something really simple today just because I'm kind of in a rush now. So first I'm gonna set my face um, with, this is not color pop, but with the Morphe Jeffree Star spray. And I'm gonna spray it away from this candle so I don't set the house on fire. This feels so good. The spray smells so good. Also, it smells like strawberries. First, I'm gonna go in with the shade Grumpy, which is this shade right here, and just throw that into my crease with my Morphe E23 brush. Just kind of like pat it on. Again, this eye look is not gonna be anything like mind blowing at all. Yeah, these shadows are just really pigmented. Like that blended like a dream. Like I didn't even have to try. All right, next I'm gonna go in with the shade Abu, which is on the end. Also, all the shades are Disney names, which is so cute. For this, I'm gonna be using my Luxie 207 medium angled shading brush. I love this brush. And I'm just gonna be taking this on the outer corner of my eyes and kind of dragging it up into the crease and just blending those two shades together to add a little bit of darkness. Or not really darkness, but just like, you know, like depth and stuff. This candle smells so good. It's the pumpkin apple candle, and it's my new favorite fall candle from Bath and Body Works, for sure. What kind of things are you guys doing for this fall season? Um, I love haunted houses, so we just went to a haunted house the other day, um, and Wednesday, so like two days from now, we are going to the pumpkin patch that's near me, and that's gonna be really fun. But what do you guys do? Do you guys have any traditions that are fun? I love fall time, so I like doing all the fall activities. Next, before I go in with a shimmery shade, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Glittery Glue. This is my trick that I do every single time I apply a glittery shade on my lid, and I really want it to stay and like look intense. I just take a little bit on my finger, and 
pat it on my eyelid. Pat it on my eyelid. Let it get a little bit tacky. So if you guys have any problems with the glitter shades like not sticking to your eyelid and like fading throughout the day, this is so helpful. Like you don't have to use that much. I'm not sure what shade I want to go in with. I think I'm gonna go in with this middle shade, Fairy Godmother, the pink one. And I'm just going in with my finger and applying it straight on my lid. Ooh, that's pretty. I've never used this shade before. That's really pretty, I love that. I'm gonna take that first brush and that first shade Grumpy and just kind of blend out the crease. Make sure everything's nice and put together. No harsh edges or anything like that. That looks really good. And then I'm gonna take that second brush, the Luxie one in the shade Abu once again. And I'm gonna put that back in the outer corner and kind of blend everything together. Cause some of that got blended away a little bit. I also want that like depth right there. Kinda got covered by the shimmery shade, shade so I wanna just apply it back on there. And one last time I'm gonna blend it out with this brush without adding any extra pigment, just blending it. I'm gonna take a little bit of this super bright uh, like white shade, Prince Charming. And I'm just gonna apply that on the inner corners with my finger. I'm applying the super lot of this shadow because it is really white but just a little bit. And then uh, for my lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with the shade Grumpy, that first shade we used, and just a little pencil brush, and just run that along the bottom of my eye. And then I'm gonna take that shade Abu, the darker brown shade, and do the same thing, but focus it more on the outer corner of my eye. I'm gonna go underneath, blend it out with my big fluffy brush. So for the eyes, again, I didn't want to do anything too dramatic today, but I do really love these colors, like the soft pinks and browns that this palette gives you. Really quickly, I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Clear Brow Gel just to brush my brows up. I don't really do much to my brows, but I do like them to like stand up and look nice. To be honest with you, I don't do brows because I don't know how. <laughs> um, yeah, if you have any tips, best things to use, anything like that. I just don't know how to do it. My brows are already kind of big, you know, so I don't want to like make them huge. I like more like natural looking brow. Alrighty, so really quick, I'm gonna go curl my lashes and put on mascara and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so this is the final look. Um, I've decided not to use the lipstick, but I will definitely use it and update you. Um, but I'm just, I didn't feel like wearing lipstick today. Um, so this is what we've got. I'm gonna check in with you guys later today and let you know how it worked. And we'll see you then. All right, so here we are about six hours in. Um, and also here's a shot in natural lighting, kind of what it looks like. Um, I still really enjoy it. Um, it's a little bit like oily on my chin, but like not too bad. Um, everything's still showing up really well on top of it, like my blush and my bronzer. Um, the only other new thing that like I hadn't tried before was the blush and you can definitely still see it, which is cool. Um, the foundation itself, I mean, hey, like it's, it's really pretty. Um, I'm really enjoying it and I'm gonna check in with you guys at the end of the day. I'm probably gonna be wearing it for about like five more hours. Um, so wait, no, like four more hours. Um, but I will check back in with you guys again. So far, so good though. Like it looks really good. All right guys, so it's been almost 10 hours. It is 9.38 um, and I've had this on for, like I said, almost 10 hours and I still think it looks good. Um, it's definitely more on the dewy side. So if you have oily skin, I would definitely say that you could probably still wear this, but would probably wanna use like a mattifying primer or something like that. Um, for my dry skin, I feel like it looks pretty good. Um, again, like it's definitely glowy, but all of my blush, my highlight, my bronzer, you can still see it. Um, and I haven't noticed, like, it doesn't feel like it's breaking me out, but I'll definitely update you guys because it is just a first impression. Um, there's always a chance that, like, it could get worse and I don't like it. Um, but so far, so good. I mean, again, it's just a little bit oily, but, like, not over, not too much. Like, I'm sure if I powdered, it would look totally fine. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know any ideas that you have below. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much.